Hey guys, it's Peggy here with Frankly Realtors, and I am here today with Sandra Williams, who owns Infinity Photo Solutions in Vienna. And uh, so we're really happy to have Sandra here. She uh, has been helping people in Northern Virginia, Maryland, and DC organize their printed and digital photos for almost 20 years now. And uh, so she offers you know, a specialization in printed and digital photo organizing, scanning, media conversion, and even photo book creation so that's pretty cool too <laughs> so uh, Sandra uh, welcome to uh, to this interview and thank you so much for, for being here uh, tell, for us a little bit, tell us a little bit more about kind of how you got into this business and and what you do sure thank you so much for having me Peggy I really appreciate it um, I have been uh, I've loved photos all my life really I've been one of those people who carried a camera in my back pocket since I was a little kid and before it was uh, normal to carry a camera in your back pocket. Um, and uh, I've just always valued photos and uh, the stories that go with them. So it's always just been a hobby of mine to keep albums and keep uh, photo books and things like that. And uh, my career before this was as a, a college career counselor. So I worked at universities, um, helping college students prepare for their careers. And then um, things shifted as I had kids, as a lot, of, a lot of things do for people. And um, as I started having kids, I decided to kind of scale back on working outside the home. And I started working at home. Um, you know, I, I stopped working at the universities, worked at home, and I kind of took my passion with photos and, and hobby, I guess you could say, and turned it into a business. And I worked for a long time, for 12 years actually, as a direct sales consultant with a company that sold um, albums that were safe for your photos. So it's helping people get their pictures into safe albums and create those books. And basically what happened while I was doing that was the industry changed. And we found that people started taking more and more digital photos and their camera cards would fill up and they didn't know what to do after that. And so basically a lot of people just started becoming very overwhelmed with their with their digital photo collections. And what I found was that to help people make an album just became really overwhelming. Um, if it wasn't overwhelming before, it was very overwhelming now. And what I wanted to do was really start helping people um, with that overwhelm and help them get that sort of digital chaos um, under control. And so I shifted my focus and I started on my own and I started my own business in 2013, um, Infinity Photo Solutions. And our focus is really helping people sort of relieve that anxiety that you get from thinking about where all your photos being everywhere. And, um, and that's not just the digital chaos that we've, we've all kind of uh, grown accustomed to now that you know all the pictures on your multiple phones and multiple computers and kind of everywhere. Um, but also the physical pictures, because a lot of people still have pictures in um, magnetic albums, the old sticky albums that we had um, back in the day, or pictures that you've inherited from generations before you and that kind of thing, and pulling it all together and making a, a personalized solution for people and getting it all organized. And so that's kind of where I landed or how I landed where I am now. Awesome. Yeah, I know just even myself, you know, you've got like thousands and thousands of photos from like family vacations or even just like every day you probably take like at least, you know, two or three photos a day just of, you know, kids or what's going on and like stuff like that. So it definitely can get overwhelming really, really fast. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's so different than the way we used to take pictures. I mean, the way we used to take pictures when you had a roll of 24, you used to be very selective about how you take pictures. And now people just snap away and you end up with a lot of things on your camera that you don't really need. So Right, right, yeah. exactly. So who's, uh, who's like your ideal client? Like, are they like older people with a lot of photos or like young families? Like who, who ends up really asking for your, for your help? Um, actually, it's 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 both. Um, I find that the 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 people that reach out to me the most are are both of those um, folks. So people who um, I would say are in the kind of retired category, where they're where they're either downsizing or they've just reached a point in their life where they've kind of got everything. They've got the the pictures that they've inherited from the generations before them, their own, you know, their parents or their grandparents' pictures, but they also have their children's photos and now their grandchildren's photos, and it's just a lot, you know, and they're really at the point where they're thinking, 
if I don't do something now, I don't know when it's going to get done, you know, so, and, and I need to do something before I'm gone. Um, and it could also be a downsizing situation where they're moving and they need to, to get it all together um, because they're going to a smaller place. Um, so I do have a lot of clients that, that are in that situation, but I also get a lot of younger families and it'll, I'll get calls from people who say, you know, I've, uh, got one child and I've got a baby on the way and we're both working and I just feel like I need to get this under control now before it gets really out of control and it, it's already feeling out of control so so those are honestly the, the you kind of hit the nail on the head Peggy because those are really the two um, folks that I hear from the most um, but in terms of an ideal client it's really to anybody who sees the value in hiring somebody that has the expertise and the knowledge um, to help you put this all together. Awesome. Yeah, I think like just it seems like, you know, if I for me, like just like having all of these like photos everywhere, right? You just don't know where to start or like, you know, putting together um, your like like a family photo album or something like that would be a really great like project um, right. you know, for, for you to, to help with and stuff, especially if like they're really busy. I think the photo organizing seems to be one of those like back burner activities, Absolutely. right? But then, but then once you see it, you're like, oh my gosh, it's like amazing right? when you get like that final product. Um, there. Yeah, and there's usually some sort of impetus that like makes them call me that's you know something that happens that that makes it come off the back burner you know whether it's um sometimes it's something sad something like that you know somebody got sick in the family or somebody passed away in the family and they're realizing you know i better do this because you know time is short or sometimes it's an upcoming event a happy event like a graduation or a wedding and you know i want to get my pictures together before this event so i can be prepared for it um so a lot of times it'll be you know something's happening in your life that makes you think to to get this all together but you're very right you you've got you know the organization part can be super overwhelming but it's what gets you to the fun part you know to the the part where okay now that i can find my pictures and now that the clutter is gone i can do the fun stuff i can make an album i can um you know make a collage i can find that photo for my holiday card you know sometimes that is really stressful for people you know so yeah, the, that's totally true. Yeah, I really like how you said it could be like maybe a special occasion, right? It doesn't necessarily yeah. need to be like, here, Sandra, take all my 5,000 photos, you know, but it could right. be something like a very specific project that people ask you it to do. Yeah, yeah, we specialize in the big everything, that, you know, that's our specialty is taking it all and making sense out of it and making order out of it and, and creating a system that's personalized to you and your family. Um, because there's so many different things out there that you could be using to to keep your photos organized. Um, there's a lot of different cloud programs. There's you know some people don't want to use the cloud. Some people do. Some you know there's just a lot of different options out there. And so what I consider our job to be is to help you find find the solution that works best for you and that's going to work best for your family and that's going to going to be something that you can use that's easy to manage going forward because. I can pretty much with 99.9% .9 uh, guarantee you that you're going to continue taking pictures. <laughs> so, so you, you know, you need to have something that's manageable for going forward so that you can add pictures to your newly organized collection and be able to maintain it easily. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah, because like, yeah, I didn't even really think about that of just like, it's not just a one time thing, right? But then you're right. also advising them on, okay, moving forward, this is how you can manage it, like every, every day or every, right. every month kind of thing. Right, right. Yeah. And the industry and the technology changes so quickly, which is, you know, what keeps me busy. And, you know, I'm always trying to keep up and educate myself on the, the changing technology and how things work and, and, you know, the different products and, you know, what's, a good place to keep your photos and how it works and you know those types of things and and that can be challenging and that's why i think a lot of people they'll get started on something like this and then they stop because it's overwhelming so yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. what would you tell i guess our viewers like any like tips that you can provide if they do kind of want to get started on on doing this stuff um yeah what would you say are like the big big a couple big things that they could do to just even start organizing their photos Absolutely. If you want to tackle this project on your own, I would say my number one tip for getting started would be to consolidate. And that's to get everything 
So this would be um, actually for digital or printed photos, but let's talk about digital first. If you wanna get your digital photos in order, you need to get them all in the same place. So if you have those, those old phones that still have pictures on them, or you have your um, SD cards from old cameras that you never got pictures off of, or maybe an old hard drive or anything like that, you need to you know, pick a place that you're gonna have your photos live. And I call it a digital photo hub and pick a place for your hub. So if it's gonna be on your computer because you have space there, great. Make a folder there, um, usually under your pictures, pictures folder. If you don't have enough space, then get an external hard drive and attach that to your computer and then start gathering things. And don't worry at first if it's neat, just get it all into that hub. And then the next thing I would do is back up that hub, even when it's a mess, because at least you've got everything in one place. And so now you can stop sweating over like, oh my gosh, all my pictures are all scattered everywhere. At least they're all in one place. They're a big mess, but they're getting backed up. Um, and so that, that would be my very first tip is to consolidate and back up. Um, and that's a great way to start. Awesome. And then, um, so I think you, you said that you, you've got some more tips for people um, on your website, right? So uh, so okay. where, where can they go to, to find out more information yeah. about you and, and some more tips here? Um, our website is infinityphotosolutions.com. Um, there's lots of tips there. I've um, just recently put up um, some tips about uh, great tips while you're social social distancing because right now we're we're doing our social distancing thing um and so so there's the two tips that i just mentioned plus a bunch more so those are all under my articles section on my website but you can see there's a lot more on my website you can read more about me and the company what we do you can contact us through there you can sign up um and get a, a whole guide on um, the insider's tips on photo organizing so there's a lot of things um available to you on the website so definitely check that out Awesome. And then if uh, somebody does want to contact you, like they don't want to do this themselves and they'd rather have you do it for them, uh, what's yeah. the best way for them to contact you? Um, the best way is through the website, but you can certainly um, email me as well. My email address is just sandra.williams at infinityphotosolutions.com. But through the website, you can fill out our little short contact form and it'll take you directly to my calendar and you can sign up for a complimentary 15 minute consultation with me and that's where i just spend 15 minutes with you on the phone or we can do it on um, zoom also but i usually do it just by the um, telephone and that's a time for me to get to know more about you and your photo needs like what's going on with your photos what kind of help do you need and you can ask me all the questions that you have about my services and all that kind of stuff and so we can find out if we're a good fit and if i can help you so Okay, awesome. Yeah, that, that, I bet that 15 minutes is really, really valuable. And then you guys can, yeah. It is. And I have to admit, sometimes it, it creeps over 15 minutes, and, and that's fine. <laughs> I should really call it 15 to 30 minutes. But, <laughs> but, but yes, but I enjoy getting to know people and, you know, what they're, what they're dealing with and, and, you know, talking about how we might be able to help them. So, okay, and awesome. you're, you know, so we, um, I'm in Vienna, Virginia, but I do help people all through um the northern virginia dc maryland area i used to live in silver springs so i've worked with a lot of people over in maryland as well um i work mostly out of my home office which you can see right here this is where i do a lot of my um photo organizing right here and scanning media conversion that kind of stuff um but i generally will meet clients at their homes um uh to pick up things and to to see what they have and evaluate what they have um, but a lot of times we'll bring the photos back here and do the organizing here. Um, but we do a lot of, uh, you know, that's kind of my, I, I call it point me, coach me, do it for me. Either any of those methods works for us. So we work with our clients to figure out what it works best for them. So the do it for me is when I bring it all back here and I do it for the clients and return everything back to them all beautifully organized. Um, but I also coach people um, where I'll, work with them every you know so often depends on what they want and they'll, they'll be working on their own project but then they come back to me just for some advice on what to do next or you know some they run into assembling block they suddenly have a bunch of duplicates they don't know how to get rid of them you know what what can they do um and then again other people just kind of want to talk to me for a few hours get some directions and that's it and they go off on their own so so we can work with people in all kinds of ways 
Awesome. That's great. It's um, yeah, that's great that you can like do kind of the three, three different levels of, of service mm -hmm. uh, for yeah. people. Since yeah, I think some, yeah. some people are probably like really tech savvy and they just need some pointers and guidelines and other people are just exactly. like, please just do it for me. I have no idea how to use the computer. So. Exactly. Yeah. And I, you know, sometimes I liken it to, um, the, you know, the landscaper that you hire or the financial planner that you hire or the person you hire to make your website. You know, when when I redid my, I think when I first started my business, I created my own website and it took me longer than I care to admit. But at the time I said to myself, oh, I have more time than I have money or whatever. And I did it myself. And then a couple of years later, it was very outdated and antiquated. And I thought to myself, okay, I can't re remember how to do this. And I'd have to teach myself it all over again. And it just makes more sense to pay somebody who has the expertise and it'll take them maybe 10 or 15 hours and I'll spend that time doing something I A, enjoy more and B, I'm better at. And, you know, it just makes more sense. You know, it's why, why you hire people. It's because they're the experts. They know what they're doing. They can do it faster. You can be doing something you enjoy more, you know, so, so that's, you know, a lot of times, you know, people say, oh, I didn't even know something like this existed, like somebody to organize your photos. And I said, well, it's just kind of like any other service out there. It's, it's something that exists so that you can not do something that you don't know how to do and, you know, get something off your plate that's causing you a lot of stress and anxiety. So, you know, we're, we're here to, to take that off your plate for you. Yeah, I think that's so true, especially with, you know, like small businesses and local businesses, right? There can be like a very like nice, like niche market for like your services, right? Like right. not everybody might need it, but some people yeah. might really need it, you know, and it's really yeah. nice to know that there's people there. Like in my business, right? Like people are always like, oh, well, how do I, you know, like if, if somebody needs like junk removal or like all these little kind of off services where you don't think that you think you're going to have to do it yourself. And it's like, no, there's people out there that can help you like we can help you with the whole process so right, um so right. yeah it's really important to like to know like that yeah the business is here that there are businesses that can help you with specifically your photos so yeah so. yeah i once asked a client you know how did you hear about our services and she said you know i figure there's probably a service for just about anything these days and i just googled it you know <laughs> and it's true it's there's just there's a lot of you know creativity these days in terms of what people are, are offering so yeah, exactly. Awesome. Well, Sandra, thank you so much for joining us today. It was really great to learn more about your business and kind of what, what you do. Uh, so we will definitely uh, put your contact information as, lo as well as your website um, into the show notes below. And yeah, feel free to contact Sandra if you need any photo organizing uh, projects or, or questions. So thank you so much for being with us uh, today. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It was really great. Thanks.